Good morning, guys. I hope you are doing well. Um, yeah, it's time for another live drawing session. Morning live drawing session. And I'm just gonna get started. So I'm using, um, of course, a Croquis Cafe. And uh, I'm using Procreate on my, on my Mac. Oh. And uh, yeah, the session will be session number 251 on uh, Croquis Cafe. If you want to draw along, you're very welcome to. Um, yeah, and also if, if you got any questions or any any comments, just uh, just leave them down in the comment section. I will be happy to read them. And yeah. Let's uh, let's just get started. So let me just make sure I'm on the right layer. And yeah. So start with some one minutes here. Okay. I don't know. I feel. Uh, I think it's just at the moment here, I feel like the hips is always uh, the safest place to start. Um, so this is again, I don't know, I, I used to draw on paper, now scaling down to the iPad, I find it really, really hard actually. Um, it takes some getting used to. So. Um, I find if I start with the feet or start with the head, it's uh, I just cannot fit the the model onto the onto the paper, which is not a paper. It's a uh, to the screen. I can of course I can always scale and move it around, but uh, I find it um, I find that really problematic as well. Kind of lose lose the feeling of proportions and and size all of a sudden I, I start drawing everything way too big um, if I if I scale it uh, in the middle of, of drawing even though I think here I started off a little bit too big can maybe save it minutes feels really fast this morning. Maybe it's just me who is a little bit slow. That's just how you feel sometimes.
So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try and limit myself a little bit and not draw so many lines. I think um, I don't know every once in a while. Oh, the camera fell down. Sorry about that. Let me bring that back up. Let me let me just take this back. So um, yeah, what I was saying was I'm gonna try and do uh, do less lines. I find sometimes when I'm drawing. I get so frank frantic. I'm just like uh, just putting down a ton of lines, uh, just and hoping I catch the right one. Where sometimes it just yeah, I don't know. If you can't force yourself to try and, and get the right light, the f uh, get the line right first time it's um, you kind of force yourself to to actually see what's what's going on rather than just putting down a ton of lines hoping hoping to catch the right one Right, that was it for for the one minute. So now we are switching to two minutes. Let me just write that up here. almost up at her face it feels like they should be so much further down the head uh, way too small like that hmm alright let's do the next one so this is a pelvis just drawing the whole circle to so kind of so this would be her torso then her shoulder and her other shoulder 
Yeah. It's, uh... It's okay. Let's do the next one. the last two minutes this is a really nice pose I like that
Hmm. Uh, it did get a little bit weird. That's just how it is sometimes. Alright, um, so now I believe it's a five minutes. And I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try and switch back to my normal kind of way of drawing, just uh, a little bit more frantic, a little bit more um, more building up. I might also make the pen size a little bit smaller. So um, yeah, and I think. Let's just get started. Um, start with the hip again. Kind of do the torso. Just kind of that really defines uh, the size and everything else. Kind of I try to conform to to the first few lines I make. So I find if I make the first few lines uh, too too large, the whole drawing will, will kind of just take off or, or I will be fighting the rest of the time just uh, trying to scale down. Um, I don't know if that, uh, if that really makes sense, but uh, I think yeah, the first few lines really defines where where the drawing is going to be on the paper, of course, but also how big it's going to be and, and kind of if it's going to be a super dynamic or super um, and that's comical co-write or what. Uh, you have going for. So most I'm constantly checking my proportions if if they look right on the paper, but also if they correspond to the model. Um, I think it's it's important to constantly check yourself. And I'm gonna put uniform on when I scale. And this is of course kind of getting dangerous. I said when I, when I scale, I have a really hard time adjusting to the new to the new size of the drawing.
Alright, I think that was it. Let's just pause this. Yeah, I don't know. I think um, I think I still got one more drawing in me. So I might just um, skip back through these poses and just take one of them and make like a bit longer study of it. Maybe one of the first ones. Maybe I take this pose here and kind of. Yeah, just without putting timer on, just just try and make a give myself a little bit more time. So um, let's do that. Start with the hip again. And, um, maybe do a little bit of line of action. Get in that arm in there, which is weighing down the pose a bit. And the leg. So now I'm just kind of placing stuff to know. Get the angles right. It's also really, really nice to draw without the time restriction. I would say it is also really, really good. I think it's really important to to do both things. Um, if you only draw with the time restriction, you never you never hit the point where where you have to stop. Uh, And I think it's also good doing it with time restriction that just forces you to to just do a lot of drawings in small amount of time, not being too precious about your work, and, uh, and also just get a, a bunch through through your eyes and out through your hand uh, really fast. So I think uh, I think if you really want to progress as an artist, you kind of have to do a little bit of both.
I make the breast a little bit too high up. Kind of got rid of her neck a little bit. It's okay, it's getting a little bit messy now. I'm, I'm gonna clean it up afterwards. Maybe her shoulders are also a little bit too wide. Super happy with the with the. I'm not so totally sure the proportions or the shape or kind of the feel of the drawing, but I'm just I'm going to start uh, shading and then I think maybe maybe some of these things will will get more clear. What the problems are so let's do that
maybe I need to face look really needs a little bit more love Put in a little bit of color. Just putting down a base color here. Maybe it's a little bit. Uh, could be a little bit more desaturated, but uh, it's fine. I might just switch to the main layer and draw on that, um, draw color on that. Um.
just trying to get in all these small small light changes here they kind of uh, represent all the all the muscles and uh, and bones digging out so I'm I'm just kind of trying to look I think also I, I need to, to stop this soon. I can I can go on forever. Um, but uh, yeah, maybe I should uh, some time. But to be honest, I, I need to to head into work kind of soon. I think it's so it's kind of yeah it's a nice nice little study oh. maybe I should put on some kind of background color is maybe a dark blue the shape a little bit Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's fun. It's definitely been really fun doing it. Um,
All right, let's. Uh, uh, I just need to. Oh man, that's the worst when you cannot stop. Uh, need to fill this in. It's gonna make all the difference. All right, let's uh, let's say that was it for today. Well, but uh, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, feel free to to drop a comment um, if you got any questions. Also, uh, would be very nice if you slap a like on it on my little video here, and uh, and subscribe if you haven't done already. And. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for for stopping by and I hope you yeah that you would do it again sometime. Alright. Well, bye for now.